Hi, I'm U.S. Senator Tina Smith, and I want to say thank you to People Incorporated for inviting me to join you, and a special thank you to all the families, school administrators, and providers gathered today to talk about improving access to mental health care, especially for young people. I am a huge fan of People Incorporated and very grateful for the opportunity I had to visit your facility in New Hope and to see your work firsthand. Mental health care is health care and everyone should be able to get the care that they need, regardless of their insurance, their zip code, or their age. Yet for many Americans, this isn't true. For young people, getting mental health care can be hard, if not impossible. The adults in their lives might not see their symptoms, and they may be confused or scared about what's happening to them. The data shows what many parents and educators see every day an epidemic of students in classrooms dealing with anxiety, depression, and other serious mental health conditions with nowhere to turn. The pandemic has made all this worse, especially for young people who are too often ashamed or afraid to ask for help. The stigma is real. I decided to share my own story with depression to help break down the barriers around talking about mental illness so that more people can get help. I suffered from depression in my late teens and then again in my 30s when I was a young mom. And I was blessed to get the treatment that I needed to recover. I want people to know that there is hope. You are not alone and asking for help is a sign of strength, not of weakness. You can all help break the stigma around mental illness, but that's not enough. We need to make sure that mental health resources are available to everyone and especially young people. This is why I'm so grateful for the work that you're doing at People Incorporated to bring community mental health to students and families in school settings. I've seen great examples of school-based mental health services that open the door for children and their families to tap into the early attention and care that they need to heal. When we meet students and families where they already are in school, we can help break down the stigma and get people the health care that they need. In Congress, I'm working so that all students have support wherever they need it, including in their schools. Congress passed bipartisan legislation last year that President Biden signed into law that made historic investments in community mental health care. Minnesota students and families are already seeing these dollars at work in our schools, many of which have been able to get to use those dollars to hire counselors. There is a significant shortage of mental health and behavioral health providers, from child psychologists and therapists to substance use disorder counselors. And this is a problem everywhere, but especially in rural communities. Many people are retiring or leaving the field, and young people are often held back from entering because they can't afford the tuition and the training. With this in mind, I've introduced a bipartisan bill to pay back student loans for people who agree to work in mental health care in places like New Hope. Minnesota has long been a progressive leader on mental health and substance use disorder work, and People Incorporated and all of you are part of that tradition. So thank you for all that you do, and know that I am in your corner and I am your strong supporter and champion in Congress.